Chatterbox is a private mesh communication and location sharing system. You can actually use it for other things besides sending messages. I'm going to show you how you can take any Chatterbox node and turn it into a remote switch. I've got a 9 volt battery, a converter to drop the voltage to 5 volts, and this laser. Power that on. Rather than going straight into the laser, I'm going to stick my chatterbox in the middle so the chatterbox can choose whether to open or close the circuit. I'm going to trip the switch for 5 seconds. So I find the device, I know it's number 45, it says it right on the front. I pick this uh, game looking icon and I go down to switch for 5 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to send that and you will see... A lot of traffic passed through there. Two, three, four, five. This is all happening over lower frequencies, so the signal can travel a long way and can be sent through mesh also. I'm going to make this a little more interesting by doing the test from farther away. I've got the same setup except that the circuit has a high voltage arc that's going to happen. I'm going to be out of range, so meshing is going to have to carry the command to this thing. The circuit is powered. and So I'm going to go away and give this a try. My device is in the basement, and I'll be going about four miles here. I'm about four miles away. This is uh, my home antenna, the 86 here. Touch on the GPS button. Yeah, it shows I'm about 7,000 meters away. So I'll find 45, and I'm going to send it the 5 second switch. So the, the send direct is going to fail because it's below ground level. Meshing should take it through the antenna on my roof and meshed and I should get back a confirmation that's old okay there it goes all right so the dots mean it's waiting to go off my device okay so I'm just gonna let the device leave it alone for a moment so it can do its thing so now I've got the blue up arrow meaning this is the, the message was accepted at my house and it's probably already sitting on the the switch. Once the switch does its thing, it should send me back a confirmation and then this will turn into a check mark.